Have you ever been disappointed with the design of a next-gen piston cup racer? Or maybe you just wondered what a different design would look like? Well, today we're going to travel into an alternate dimension and see what every piston cup next-gen racer would look like in a different light. So what's going on everybody? I hope you're having a great day. I don't know about you, but where I live, man, it's getting cold and all I want to do all day is just stay inside and make videos and of course watch some videos as well. Maybe a little bit more watching than making, but yeah, today we have a collaboration with my good friend Lumbud84, the amazing artist who you probably remember from my video called Missing Next Gens, where he, you know, made all those Missing Next Gen racers. We talked about them and we're like, why didn't these appear in Cars 3? You guys know what I'm talking about. But if not, the link will be in the description below, along with the card suggestion in the top right hand corner. So he recently just finished another project called Starting Grid Reimagine, where he took all the next gens in Cars 3, except for Cruz and Jackson, and completely refurbished them into something spectacular. So we're going to be going through each of these today and then deciding which one is the best. So definitely remember the good ones. You know, you may have to go back because we got a lot to go through. And I have to say, they are all just absolutely amazing here. So going in numerical order, first up we have Intersection. Now Lumbud84 goes for the little details and I love that. If you look closely, you can see a pattern of road intersections in his pink color, which looks great. Moving on to toe cap number four, we have a nice simple design and a callback to the original color scheme, whereas the actual next-gen toe cap racer, JD McPillar, has purple, turquoise, and green, and all sorts of colors that don't match his original scheme at all. Here we have synergy number five, and yet another detail you could easily overlook if you just breeze by. Of course, he has the mini hexagons in his paint, but on the left side, some of them are darker to form his number five, which is really cool. Transberry juice is next with a liquid-like design. Number 11 is combustor with a computer and circuit design, highlighting his modern nature. Here is one of my favorites so far, Easy Idol. I like the inclusion of the slogan in the white stripes. And up next is Octane Game with a mix of plus signs and squares that all fit together really nicely. Blinker is next with a simple orange and blue paint scheme with heavy focus on the stars, or blinks I should say. Another one we got here is Vitaline. I love the gradient fade from lime green to dark green. Now I think this one upcoming is one of my favorites so far out of the ones we've gone through, Nitro Wave. I don't know what it is, but I really like the fiery front with the charcoal black contrast in the back. It just looks great to me. Here we have Triple Dent with a light leafy design. Number 33 is Mood Springs, who has an array of springs going throughout his blue and black design. I'd really like to have this one as a die cast actually. And we have Trunk Fresh, who looks amazing with that green curvature and the little flowers of cleanliness, as I like to say. Tank Coat is next with a simple pink gradient. I like how the 36 blends in and fits right into that pattern. Moving on to Viewzine, I really like the easygoing font and thin white stripes. Now, I really, really like this one, Revolting. I think it was very creative to add the plus and minus signs indicating the positive and negative charges. All right, so this one here is big. Leakless number 52, he tops all of the ones before and I think he is my all-time favorite out of the ones Lumbud has redesigned. But first of all, it really resembles the Cars 1 leakless racer, Claude Scruggs, with the white patch on the right side there. And then the font for the 52 and the other text actually resembles oil splatters if you look closely. You know, it's just really cool. Like at first I thought it was like some sort of matrix font, but it's actually kind of supposed to be like oil splatters, which is just fantastic. Up next is Faux Wheel Drive, who has a simple design, which is brighter than the real deal Herb Kerbler. I definitely would prefer this one to be completely honest. Sorry, Herb. Another one of my favorites is RPM. 
I really don't like Barry DePello, who is the actual eraser in the movie because it's just so dark, so much blue, and doesn't look anything like the original two RPM racers, but this one definitely does as it uses the same color scheme. Carbon Cyber also looks good with the blue curves. I really like N2O Cola as well with the nice font. I like also how it says N2O Cola vertically on the right. Gasprin here is phenomenal with the two-tone pill imagery. You know, we don't really know much about the actual next-gen Gasprin. Richie guns it because he hasn't been released as a diecast, but I know he's got some like purple going on in there, which I don't know, that's a little weird. But anyway, Rev and Go is next, who has a bunch of blue sparks almost, and I love the classic orange arrow. The actual next gen Rev and Go again is one of the big diversions. It has like new colors. And you know, it's nice to kind of stick with what you know is true and all the good stuff there. But here we go, Vinyl Toupee, also on top of my list because of its simplicity. I absolutely love how the logo on the spray can there is a mixture. It's like, I don't know, it's half V. It's a hybrid of a V and a T, standing for Vinyl Toupee. That is just so creative. I don't know how you did that. That is just awesome. And the use of mainly one color and like different shades of that same color, that's just great. Great job with that one. Gaskets also looks great as well with what seems to be like a ribbon containing that favorite racetrack treat. Shiny Wax comes in strong with a vibrant green. And of course here we have Apple, the one everyone's been waiting for with a circuitry design that surrounds the classic Apple 84 logo. Number 90's Bumper Save with a simple blue and red paint job and a callback to the classic tag logo that Ponchi Wipeout, who was the stock car, always had. Now speaking of Bumper Save, the reimagined Spuller Stop here looks like the actual Bumper Save racer Paul Conrad from the movie with you know the colors and everything. I think the red should really be a little bit more orangish to match Spuller Stop, but maybe that was like a rendering error. I don't know, still looks great either way. Spearmint really puts me in the winter mood with the snowflakes, it looks great. And Little Torquey Pistons is also on the top of my list, probably because I just love how the Pistons spell out the number there. And then the first one has that face, just adorable. And as we close in on the end here, we have Clutch A with a triangular pattern and a fitting band-aid, of course. He's got to have the band-aid. And to close it off, we probably have my second favorite overall, just behind Leakless, No Stall. I'm not a fan of the actual No Stall Next Gen Jonas Carvers. It's just too dark for me. So I'm glad Lumbud made his to be much brighter and to reflect the original design that Todd Marcus had. So that is all for them. Man, just amazing guys. Like, can you believe it? He designed all of these. Like, I can't believe it. I love to see all of these as die cast. I mean, we can pretend that these are like next gen V2 or something like that. The racers that would come in and replace the ones we saw come in in Cars 3. So like these guys would replace Herb Kerbler and Flip Dover and those guys, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I just like thinking about that. So which is your favorite? I told you my Leakless, No Stall, Vinyl Toupee, Nitro Aid, you know, the ones I put on the thumbnail, those are my favorites. But yeah, definitely Vinyl Toupee, Leakless, and No Stall are my top three. Let me know yours in the comments section below. And yeah, maybe you can even put some names to them. I love putting names, but I wouldn't really ask you guys for that because there's so many. But if you want to put a name to some of these, that would be awesome. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much Lumbud for collaborating with me. I know I took a while to pump this video out because you have this project finished for a while and he's already on to his next project. And if you'd like to see details about that, join my Google Plus community. Links in the description below. But that's all for now. I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.